Oh no, I've lost my hat. Oh. Dash, lost my hat. <laughs> and there is a part two. And that is the galleries. I don't know what I've done with my hat now. Oh gosh, I'm going to be cold on the way home now. I'll have to retrace my steps. I don't think I put it in my bag. But yeah, the galleries were allowed out. And they don't normally let everyone up. We're allowed up here to have a look at the galleries. We'll get a nice view of the church from here. And this is the way you go up to the galleries, yes. Wow, this place is amazing. There's so much. You said, yeah, have a look around. As long as you don't damage or break anything. <laughs> Which I thought was very nice. Wow, yes. You get a very different aspect, don't you, from here. This is where the organ is in there. We'll have a look at that in a minute. But this window, I've taken a picture of it. It's only one of its kind in London from the 1700s, hand painted. And now we're up here. We can get pictures of these windows. Which will be a fine thing. Oh, it's turning out to be quite a good day. central window, that's the one I was saying about that is um, very special. Well, for my own page and for the, church, the historical church's pages, you're going to have a lot of material for the next couple of days, guys and girls. I hope you don't mind. If you do mind, I'm sorry. explore. Um, I asked her, so is it okay to go up into the gallery? She went, well we don't normally like lots of people going up there, she went, because we, there's no watchers up there. She went, but, and then right, once I was speaking to them, once I'd finished my filming in the main body of the church, they said, oh, well, um, I've explained my page and that. And they went, oh go on then, yeah, you can have a look around. I don't damage anything or behave you know less than religious way. And there we are. John Law Kin Esquire. We can see that one properly from down there. That stunning lock. Plenty of pictures of that. Benefactors. location may not happen today. These pull out benches here are where the children sat or you know the because these are up here for the richer people. People with money they would sit up here and the benches in the back are for their children or servants. It's the organ. 
know if you can get over to the other one from up here. I should imagine if you can, there is two separate staircases. I think you can, yes. Look, the stairs that lead everywhere. So, yeah, location one probably not going to happen today, which is, it may, it's the Museum of London. <coughs> But by the time I get there now and stuff, it's going to be quite late. So, I mean, there's these doors and they go everywhere. This is, this is an exploring person's dream come true. Oh, I must say, I like this very much. Yep, and we can get over to the other gallery like this. Excellent. Two church watchers down there at the table. Absolutely lovely people. I meet some really nice people on my travels at times. Out of Egypt have I called my son. This window is the gift of the National Provincial Bank. I'll get further away to this a little uh, not fall down here. I have to watch the step that I don't fall over. I am notorious for falling over and up in a high up gallery. That is not something I want to do. And we've got this one here as well. It becometh us to fulfill all righteousness in memory of Joseph Lewis. Oh, a noble. Something this window is erected in affectionate and regarded. Of Noble Street, this window is erected in affectionate regard by Henry Thomas Tubbs, his friends and partner, his friend and partner for long standing years. Easter, 1890. So yeah, we don't normally get this close up to a lovely stained glass, but we've been fairly lucky today. And we don't normally get up into galleries either. That's uh, those other doors obviously take you into where the organists organists do not like you fiddling around or being you near their organ. Musical one. He was known of them in the breaking of bread in memory of his beloved mother, Augusta Eliza Webb. This window is erected by your eldest son, Matthew Wright and Webb, Esquire, J.P., Easter, 1890. Now, we'll get to this little nook here, which is a bit full up with things, but we'll take some pictures. People probably don't sit up here for the church services anymore. The church isn't like that nowadays, where the rich are separated, <coughs> where the rich are separated from the poor. Good thing too, really. There we are, that's better. Then you've got another window here, which I may not be able to get to because there's not much space, so I'll take the picture from here as best I can. King of Kings and Lord of Lords, in memory. <coughs> Sorry, in memory of William Paget, Church Warden of this parish, 1885 to 1887. This window is erected by loving friends. Easter, 1890. That is gorgeous. Look, and another benefactor's board. 
another door that obviously goes somewhere, I don't know. But yeah. And you've got more of the um fold out benches there. Church was busy in those days, a lot busier than they are now. Yeah, we'll get the water once more from up to this angle. and personal. I ain't gonna go nowhere near that but look all the buttons and stoppers and everything. To picture. I've never been allowed up in a gallery like this before. So I am making the most of it as you can probably tell. Very interesting. Here you go, your nice view round of the church from here. This is perfect for me because I think I've probably got obsessive compulsive disorder because I do like symmetry and evenness. And I'm banging in the middle here. And sorry if I whisper in churches, it's just the way I am. I wonder if people are allowed to sit here. Because there's some pews here. Ooh, I'm looking at the heights. It's high, fairly high up this one, and I don't like heights. I get a bit vertical. <laughs> there we go. There we are. And those mirror is there. That mirror is there, rather, for when the vicar gives a nod for the next hymn to be played. Ooh. You could quite easily tumble over this, look. Right. I don't want to take the Wii Wii completely, so we'll go out now. So, I'll see what time I'm done. By the time I've done it outside and everything. And I'll see about the Museum of London, because I can do it gallery by gallery, I suppose. You've got to start somewhere, haven't you? That door will be for the organ blower. Do not open this door while the organ blower is in operation. There could be a vile accident. And I've no idea where this goes, but I'm going to have a look. This is like your typical really haunted staircase, this one. And it goes to a door that is bolted and padlocked. We should get an okay view. Let's 
see. So that, that'll be into the roof spaces and stuff. Yes, out onto the roof. So no wonder it's bothered and padlocked. But yeah. Whew. <laughs> And Luke said he's exercised today, I'll say that. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I didn't see that it was two steps instead of one and I went down and damn near ruptured my goddamn pelvis oh that hurt cool. I've nearly done the splits on this floor and I haven't done the splits since I was a little boy and my dad had to carry, carry me in that was on the skateboard one foot stayed on the skateboard and the other stayed on the floor and the resultant injury wasn't very pleasant once so I wasn't injured, but it bloody hurt for a while, I can tell you that. You're back to there now. So yeah, um, I don't think this is accessible or anything in here. But we'll have a look. What is that? Is that for the bell tower? This must be for the bell tower, which is probably not going to be open because these doors are always locked. No, I don't know what that is. I'll put it up against it. I think it might be another entrance into the church or a crypt or something. Storage cupboard, but there's a door which will take you into a crypt. Or bell tower, and I don't know which one. So right. Oh. But yeah, it's an interesting church, and there's architecture everywhere. Like this place is a f it's fascinating. Right, let's turn my flash off. I'm just going to pause you a minute. The London Necropolis. Brookwood Cemetery. That'll be where a lot of these parishioners were moved to. And when the burials were bound, banned, where a lot of uh, people would have been buried. Theodore Emmanuel Cox Esquire died 24th May 1805, aged 29. And luckily there is a toilette in here, so... I shall go and use that toilet in a minute. But yeah, it's been an interesting day. I don't know what's here. Walking mind your step. Gas insulation, no smoking. See, I don't know what's so that's another entrance to the church, I believe. So yeah, it's in, um, a lovely church. I've really enjoyed this one. And there's some more pictures and things in there. And there's another benefactor's board. So yes. I hope you all found this interesting. Shut that door. Right, I'm gonna pause this, use the lavatory, and then uh, give you the outside of the church, which I'll probably do separately, yeah. Right, take care all, see you all soon. I'm just coming out of the door, having used the lavatory, or tori, whatever you want to call the damn thing, or the blessed thing, shall we say, in a church. I found my hat. So it must have... Because what I do is I fold it, and then tuck it into my bag strap. So, we have a hat back. So, yes. That is the Church of St. Bottles of Our Aldersgate. William Benetton, by the looks of it, but it's very worn away. We're in Postman's Park at the moment, which is a lovely little bit of London. Here's its bell tower. That door 
in there goes into that bell tower. Mm. Dash them all. And over there is a memorial thing to the everyday hero kind of thing, but it's all full of uh, people. So I can't film there at the moment, I'm afraid. Ah, this is much clearer. Sacred to the memory of James, the... Of Jane, sorry, the eldest daughter of the late William Beale. KT, so that's night. So Grenfellfield, who departed this life December, and that looks like the first, 1810. No age. Yeah, this is Yonder Church, St Bottles Without Alders Gate, because you've got St Bottles Without Alders Gate, and then St Bottles Without Alders Gate, and this is that one. So, yeah. I always um, tend to do the inside of a church first, then the outside of it afterwards. Because inside the church is closed at the drop of a hat sometimes. Might not be many people around. The watchers might think, oh, we'll call it a day. Or they might ring their boss or whoever they ring and think, oh, we'll call it a day. And yeah. Right. And over there, yeah, it's a nice little park and garden anyway, so... There aren't many gravestones around box tomb there. Um, London Garden Square competition. It's won a few competitions, this one. Unearthed more about city gardens and all that stuff. I think my flash isn't still on. Yeah, this is quite a nice one. I, I always uh, enjoy having a little walk around Doramuta around this one, so... It's a very nice church, which we can see the front of. And I shall have a smoke. Ah, there's a grave here. We must cover this grave. Beneath this stone, he deposited the remains of Mr. Matthew Ward, builder. It's very much worn away. Hard this life. 1834. That's children below, aged three years. So it's all worn there and whatnot on that. But yeah, at least we managed to catch the name. At least. There are some more over here. But they're in these bushes. We will catch them if we can. Being careful not to tread on any of the plants. Mr. George Dowling. That one. George John Davies. The rest of them are very warm. I'll get us a little bit closer to this one if we can. Without trash in the place. Yeah. Goodman's Fields, who died on the 10th of June 1830, aged 80 years. Sacred is this spot where rest his loved remains. Oh, so he's obviously very well loved. George, the only son of the above, died on his passage from Africa on the 14th of October 1824. Nicol. Nicholson. What's that? N O C K O L. Nicholson, yeah. The beloved wife of Mr. George Dowling, who died July the 1st, 1834, aged in her 81st year. That's unusual, isn't it, for a woman's, um, for a woman's first name? It definitely is a N I C K O L S O N. Nicholson, yeah, the beloved wife. See, this is what I mean about this. Janet Rutherford, third daughter of the above, who died on 10th November 1831. Then you've got Elizabeth Goad, 
something that's either daughter or granddaughter of the above and she died on December the 8th 1837 aged 30 years and these ones are very very worn away now I've got to get out of here now just go around this way <coughs> sorry got distracted we was going to go and see the front of the church weren't we but there we are <laughs> You know what I'm like. These are Georgian ones and they're completely worn away. But yeah, this is uh sorry, give a little whirl around and go out here and get the front of this church. It's gonna pause you a minute. There we are. This is the front of that church. See what I mean about the simple elegance of the Georgian era <clears throat> offset by the not simple elegance of the Victorian era inside, which is the very ornate ceilings and everything, which you're going to see now. Um, yeah. Well, you've already seen, probably. Depends on what order I put these in, because I do do it arse and upwards, I know, but... As I say, I want to film the outside of a church first. The inside of a church first. Oh, look, there's an office up there. Good job I didn't go in that door. I want to film the inside of a church first, because it can close. Right, so I'm going to walk onto this here slope thing. Hope you guys and girls have all found, or all find, this one interesting. Take care all, and see you all soon.